Did you know you can make transactions on behalf of any wallet on Mainnet when forking Mainnet locally? That means you can pretend to be an existing wallet which already owns thousands or millions of tokens. If you're not already doing this, this will supercharge your DeFi development. But don't worry, this doesn't affect the real mainnet or anything else, just your local fork. But it makes it a lot easier to simulate different types of transactions and situations. I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's go. I'm Blockman, and I show developers how to use Uniswap with code. If you want to learn to use all of Uniswap V3's swap and liquidity functionality with code, including the Universal Router, Permit 2, the Auto Router, and everything else, sign up for my Uniswap V3 Masterclass. Link in the description. Now let's write some code. I'm going to show you how to do this in the context of a swap. We'll be making a swap with an impersonated address on a fork of mainnet. So start by importing the ABI for swap router. Then I've hard coded the ABI for an ERC20 token here with the only functions of it that we'll need. Impersonating an address requires hardhat. Luckily, hardhat has all the ethers.js functionality that we love. So simply import hardhat instead of ethers and call hardhat.ethers.provider to get a provider from that. We'll also hard code the address of the wallet that we want to impersonate. I'm choosing this address here, but you could choose any other address. I recommend checking out CoinCarp's rich list to see what addresses have the most of different tokens. Now initialize contracts for wrapped ether for USDC and swap router. I've just hard coded the addresses of their contracts here. And then we initialize those contracts here. This is a quick function that logs balances of the two tokens in our impersonated account that we're going to be concerned with and be swapping. In it, we call balance of on each token's contract and pass in the recipient's address. Balance of is the ERC20 contract function that returns tokens owned by an address in the smallest divisible unit of that token. So we get those amounts, and then we call format units from hardhat ethers to convert those values into the human readable number of tokens and then log the result. In the main function called when we run the script, we start by getting the signer. This is where impersonating the signer happens. To impersonate an address and create a signer from it, pass the address you want to impersonate to hardhat.ethers.getImpersonatedSigner function. This returns the impersonated signer, so the signer representing the address that we want to make transactions on behalf of in our local fork. Now let's log the number of wrapped Ether and USDC tokens owned by this impersonated address. Do this with our log balances function. When this prints, you'll see the number of tokens that this address would currently have on mainnet. Now let's do a swap and then we'll check the balances in the address again after the swap. The number of tokens into our swap is going to be 10. 10 wrapped Ether. Convert that to its way equivalent, because that is the format that the swap router expects. And we're going to set our gas limit on the transaction as 1 million way. Approve this amount on the wrapped ether contract to the swap router contract. And then build params for our swap with the wrapped ether contract address as the token in the USDC contract address as the token out, the signer's address as the recipient. This is where tokens out will be transferring to a deadline 10 minutes from now. Our 10 wrapped ether tokens in way as the amount in. We'll choose the 0.05% fee pool, which we can do by passing 500 to fee and zero to the amount out minimum and square root price limit x96 to ignore these inputs. 
Now on the swap router, connect our signer and call exact input single. Pass in the params and the gas limit in a second object and wait for the transaction to complete. Now let's check the wallet balances again in the impersonated address. And if we run this in the terminal, we'll see balances before and after the swap. Before the swap, we'll see balances equal to what the wallet has on mainnet, and an ending balance, which is affected by the change in tokens from the swap. We can see it changed by the amount of 10 ETH that we swapped for USDC. And again, this has no effect on the real mainnet. And every time we run this script, we start from the current state of mainnet. So if I run this again, the before balance is the same as it was before. Leave your questions, comments, and tutorial requests below. Give this a like and subscribe if you're still watching, and I'll see you next time.